What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this one should make your refresh series Lego store. Now there will be an, oh I missed the timing, it's fine. There will be an interior tutorial on this as well at some point, but here's the exterior. Man, this area is so squashed. <laughs> Something about these refresh series, they take up so much space, so much more space because of the parking lots. So like, I could have pushed this thing forward more, but I really couldn't, because you'll see when we're doing the tutorial how close it gets to Pizza Hut, which you can see the grid there. Um, so yeah, there, there will be something in here later, but with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Just in case you're curious, here are the materials we're needing, however, these are not in any specific order, I will grab them in a hotbar in a different order, just if you want all of the ones you need. Alrighty, so the space needs is a 34 by 48, and the materials we're needing to start off are brick block, Yellow concrete, black stained glass pens, black stained glass blocks, red concrete, smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slabs, and we'll go cyan concrete. That I think will get your entire actual build finished. The parking lot and stuff. Oh, I missed sandstone on the freaking. Ha, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, starting from the front left hand corner of your 34 by 48 grid cough cough you mean if the right front right hand corner is more convenient you may do that uh, you want to start by counting back by 18 and right by one and going right you want to place nine brick blocks Then right of it, you'll place a yellow concrete, and you'll bring that yellow concrete forward by one. I suppose to get it out of the way, hold on, let me turn on my phone burner so I can actually see what the frick I'm doing. Wait, that's a 69 days, haha, <laughs> funny. You want to bring each of those yellow concretes up an additional four. Things get a little strange here. You want to take that back row of yellow concrete, and you want to bring it across here, so right, with black stained glass block... Black stained glass pin, black stained glass block, black stained glass pin, leave a four block gap, black stained glass pin, black stained glass block, black stained glass pin, black stained glass block, and then a yellow concrete, and also you can bring a forward one. Before I keep going, I do want to say, <clears throat> this is more so intended to be either in a shopping center or even a mall. Uh... Mall would probably make most sense. I just added a parking lot and stuff because, you know, I realize that not everybody is making a giant mall for a Lego store to go in. But just keeping that in mind, that you'd at that point only need the front and then the interior walls. You could make whatever you wanted. You could leave my design or not. It doesn't really matter. But <clears throat> just throwing that out as an option. Anyway, uh, you can bring all of that up with an additional four blocks. So I guess copy that row four more times. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. <clears throat> I mean, I did, like, it's early again. I don't know if anybody watched the was a pet store interior that was early as frick. It's about the same time, so, you know, there's that. Now, with that gap, we're going to do some weird things. You'll place moving... You're basically, you'll place inside of the uh, inside inner, innermost row of black stained glass panes, you'll place a row of black stained glass blocks that's four tall. You'll connect it together at the top, and just below those middle two blocks, you'll place a black stained glass pane per block, and then you'll also place black stained glass panes above that. <clears throat> That'll give you this. It's kind of just fancy looking. I don't really know. There's nothing crazy with it other than it's fancy. But, uh, yeah. You can... On top of the black stained glass row, and also, I guess, the yellow concrete, you can place smooth quartz blocks. You can, you're can you kind of going to make, like, a, I don't know, a really, really uh, stretched out table like that. If you look at it from an overhead, or, yeah, overhead. <clears throat> You'll bring it out on each side by one. So, off the left, off the right, and off the front. When you bring it off the front, it'll be two off the black glass area and just one off the yellow concrete. And you're essentially going to create a rectangle like that. <clears throat> You can, one, two, oh, this is where I'm going to struggle. <clears throat> Bring either side of smooth quartz up by 
five. That looks right, although I'll confirm. Yeah, it is. Cool. So each corner, or I guess each side. Leave the front open, except for the edges, I guess? I don't know. Now you're making a giant U? It's a really, really weird U, but it's a U nonetheless. <clears throat> and then off of only the front row at the top, you want to connect them the uh, top smooth quartz blocks together with upside down smooth quartz slabs. Like that. <clears throat> On top, you can place a row of smooth quartz slabs, and that will also be all three rows instead of just one. And then that will kind of fill in what we have. It looks really weird right now. A block inside of this shape, you want to just fill this in with red concrete. Um, we'll do the logo, I guess, while we're here. I don't really know what else to do. But it's it, nice to get that out of the way, you know? Like that. Come to the bottom left-hand red concrete. That's this one. You'll count up diagonally to the right by one and place a smooth quartz block. Bring it right with a slab and bring that same block up with a block and then a slab. You can leave a one block out from the bottom of that and place two blocks moving up with a slab on top. Bring each of these three blocks or slabs right with just a normal slab. Like that, that's an E. You could use the stair trick. I just wanted to make it a little bit thicker because I think it looks better. Anyway. Leave a one block out from the bottom of that, place a smooth quartz stair facing right. This is the letter that I hate. Bring it up with an upside down smooth quartz stair facing right, and then up with a slab. Bring the slab at the top right by one, and you can take that bottom stair, which is where we started, and you can bring it right with the stair that faces right, and then bring it up with a slab. And obviously, you can see where the issue arises at the G there. There's not really a good way around it right now. I mean... If you want to fiddle with it, I only did it this way so I could make uh, the G two blocks instead of three because I really needed every block that I could to be smaller. Although, frankly, with the way that I made the entrance, I don't think it would have mattered that much. But leave a one block out from the bottom of that place, a block, bring it right with a slab, and then another block. Bring your block up by one, up with a slab, and then connect the slabs together. There you have Lego. That all O is also blocky, but. Again, there wasn't anything I could do because of the two and a half. If, if, if it was three or if it was two, I could. But, well, actually not two. But if it's three, I could have. But uh, I'd rather the half a block shorter. Anyway. I'm going to mark out the other, like, brick row that's on this side here. Just so we can have it there. So, essentially, at the uh, back or more row of yellow concrete or at the right. That's not a word. This bottom yellow concrete you want to bring right with nine bricks. What you want to do on one side, you do on both sides. So you're going to go left to right or right to left on top of the brick. Doesn't matter. Place yellow concrete. Three black stained glass panes. Yellow concrete. Three black stained glass panes and a yellow concrete. I'll just do that on both for now. It's a simple pattern. Then copy that row three more times. And that will be as tall as the uh, entrance, which is correct. This is where it gets a little strange, though. There's a lot of yellow and concretes in this build, in case that giant pillar of concrete over there didn't give you a clue. Oh my god, place the block. Just like that. We'll worry about that trim at the top uh, after we finish the other walls, just cause. So, you want to do what this next step at the left and the right. I'm going to start with the left to show you, because of how cramped this is against the right side with that Pizza Hut there in the corner of the screen. But, you want to... Bring each bottom brick block back on, again, either side by 28. Just like that. I'll do it on the other side in a minute. I'll I probably won't walk through that because it's a like very easy. But you want to take this bottom yellow concrete and bring it back with three cyan concrete, yellow concrete, 
three cyan concrete, yellow concrete, three cyan concrete, yellow concrete, three cyan concrete, yellow concrete, and you want to keep doing this pattern until you reach the back, which you should end on a yellow concrete if everything is correct, which you will. And then you'll just simply copy that row three more times. It's really simple. I just figured I'd go with something that kind of splits it up, and I actually didn't expect it to look amazing, but I, I like the way that it looks. I liked incorporating the cyan. Just get some different colors in there. You know, they're Legos. It's kind of kid, mostly kid-oriented. I mean, not always, but, you know... Lego's kind of, I feel like mainly red and yellow, but I was like, hey, I'll throw some blue in there. Can never hurt. And again, what you do on this side, you want to do on the other side. It's the exact same thing. I'm, again, not going to walk through it because that's not very difficult. Yeah, you can see where the problem arises, though, with that wall. I'm actually going to just do it like this. Because this is easier, I think. I like sectioning off builds like this sometimes. It just kind of looks good. Good. If you do it right, obviously you can make it look not great, but I feel like there is such thing as having too much sectioning, but I don't know. This almost looks like pillars or something. It's weird, but it works, so no complaints. Yeah, again, we're going to basically be touching that Pizza Hut by the end of this, <laughs> which is unfortunate, but I was not about to try to move that thing. I actually had to move it over two blocks, though, because I couldn't fit the letter or the numbers on the side there and also fit this, because it would have... This wall would have been here, and uh, the, the overhang would just wouldn't have worked. It would have been in the wall. I mean, I guess I could have moved the Pizza Hut over, but... Yeah, whatever. Alright, now for the back, you're gonna... It's a little bit different, but it's basically the same thing. You want to connect to the, the bottom together with brick, and then... When you hit the middle, it's like... I think it's like five, or no, it's an odd number. I think it's six, which is unfortunate, but it's like... You'll go again, either side, three cyan, yellow... 3 cyan, yellow, 3 cyan, yellow, and then that's where it'll be. I just do this from both sides, at least I'm going to do this. So you'll have 3 of the cyans, and then the middle will in fact be 6, I was correct. Which you could split that up into 2s or whatever, it doesn't really work mathematically unfortunately. If we had the build like, or if the center, see ironically if I made that G, or if I made that G a 3 block G, by making the other design, it would have centered properly. That's really ironic, actually. And now that I think about that, I'm mildly upset, but oh well. You win some, you lose some. And in this case, we're losing some. There you go. Not half bad. Now, this is where things get fun. On top of the walls, all of them, except for, obviously, we're going to ignore that front section because, well, it's done. But you want to place smooth quartz blocks on top of all the yellow concrete, black stained glass panes, and cyan concrete. Just kind of a giant rectangle. Oh, God. Like so. You'll extend it out on each side by one... Oh, why'd I do this? For? It's fine, actually. Whatever. Because then we'll have to figure... Well, I guess it's it's not hard anyway. But it's just not the most logical way to do it. And then you'll take that inner row of smooth quartz blocks, and you'll bring it up with two rows of red concrete. So you're basically just where the walls are. It's two row, Two rows, good lord. Like so. Not very tricky, but... You know... It's giving me modern vibes. I don't know what it, it like looks like a build I've done before slightly, but I don't know what. Something fairly recent, I think. I wonder if I'm thinking of the uh, dicks that I did, the recent one. Or the new one, I should say, the remake. Because it kind of has vibes of that with the same, like, strip thing at the top. Or the color change, I guess. And then, okay, before we actually finish that off with that top row of slabs, I'm going to tell you to bring the, like, entrance area. This is kind of a iffy number. But you want to bring it back by five rows, and then at the back you can just connect all the way across. You really only need the top three rows of smooth quartz blocks, and then obviously the slabs. <clears throat> you can change this number. Five is actually what I have it. I have it as eight total. <clears throat> but you can do what you want. I don't know why I remembered that number. 
Because I didn't write that down or anything, I just kind of remembered it. <laughs> <clears throat> I suppose I use 8 a lot in tutorials. Like, if I'm not using a perfect number, it's usually an 8 at the end of it, like 18 or 38 or... Actually, this one I think was 28. Yeah, it would have been back 28. Or it was back 28, I should say. There you go. <clears throat> and then you can place your smooth court slabs on top of the red concrete and then bring it out a row on every side, the same as that smooth course block row below you. Nothing crazy. Honestly, this build you probably could copy just by looking at the intro clip. Like, it's not that bad. Or not the intro clip, but I guess the showcase clip. That's a better way to describe it. And then again, from here, it'll be filling in the ceiling with smooth course slabs. I don't know if I can do this with a command, but I'll try. <clears throat> when in doubt, try it out. I don't know. Just like that, there we go. Now, for the parking lot, you want to clear your inventory and get out sandstone, smooth stone slabs, oh, close the freaking thing, oh my god, gray concrete, white concrete, light blue concrete, brown concrete, and green concrete, and I think that's everything. So you want to start off at the sides of the build, and I suppose the entrance. Everything but this row of yellow concrete here. And you want to break four rows out of the grass. Now, you want to break, I guess, three in front of that yellow concrete just to make it even. I don't know, but just to make it uh, have a straight line. I don't know how to say that, but you get the point. So you're basically built, breaking a giant rectangle and filling it in with sandstone. Uh... Anything for me to say? I don't really know. I didn't actually put the uh, smooth stone subs on the sides as well, just because it was the thing that I mentioned at the beginning where it's like, I intend for this to be more in a strip mall or, or a shopping mall or like just a city building that, you know, you can't really see the sides of. So this would logically be a sidewalk that keeps going. I added the parking lot though, just in case that wasn't actually the case for you. So yeah. After that row of sandstone, you want to go in front of it on this row, left to right or right to left, doesn't matter. You want to place 14 smooth stone slabs. Break in the ground with 4 sandstone. And then 14 smooth stone slabs. Like that. At the far ends of these rows, you can bring it forward by 4 slabs. In with four, and then just connect back with the three. And that will give you these nice... Oh, I only added one of the dots. That's awkward. It, it'll give you these nice little squares. Now, what do you want to do in these squares? If you know, you would know. But, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. You want to place in the middle of these, going up, three brown concrete. And then two green concrete. Extend the green concrete left and right by two, and then forward and back by one row. So you'll have like a nice rectangle. Find the top middle block, it's this one, and left one of it and right one of it, you want to place green concretes on top. These are just nice little Lego brick trees, I don't know, I wanted to do something cool and I was like, yup, Lego brick tree. And again, I do the same with the other side, so in the middle, three brown concrete up, then two green. Left and right by two per side, forward and back by one per side. And then from the top middle block, it'll be one off the left and one off the right. It's, you know, fairly simple. It's just a Lego brick. I don't really know what you want from me. So yeah, there you go. Now I can see three on my screen. Perfect. That's how freaking close these builds are. I hate having them close, but I can't really do anything in this situation. Anyway. From the inner corners of those squares... You want to bring these forward with nine smooth stone slabs. At 
and this part is kind of it kind of pertains to your city and where you have this but for your exit for your parking lot just from one of the sides i pick the left you want to leave a seven block gap four five six seven on the eighth block you'll just connect the rest of the way across pretty simple there you go the way i'm gonna do the parking lot I'm going to break the entire grass, and I'm going to fill it in flat with gray concrete. You can do this at the end if you'd like. I just might as well get it out of the way, so I can just, you know, slash fill it easily. And then we're just breaking into the gray concrete. Obviously, if you're doing this in survival or something, you don't want to do it this way. But, um, for me, it's easier this way. And how many blocks was that, actually? 286, just for measurements. Although, that's not actually the number you'd need. to be less than that. But... Off of the four block, like, standstone pathway you have here, off each side, you want to just break five white concrete in the floor going forward. You'll then leave three block gaps off the sides, and you'll place another row of five in, and you're going to end up having two of these rows, and then we'll, it should end up against these smooth stone slabs. Like that. Either the left or the right one from this, like, middle four-block wide one, you want to just break the center gray concrete and replace it with a light blue concrete. In this center one, you want to come to the back left-hand gray concrete of it, count forward one and break that, with place, replace with a white, and then break back diagonally to the right by one. From that first one you broke, you'll leave a two-block gap, and you'll place another one, or you'll break another one, which should be in line with the end of that row. And then you'll go back diagonally to the right by three. And then you'll break the bottom, or I guess the front right-hand corner of that, like that. That's just so, obviously, it's not a parking space, and if, I don't know, that's why I have the handicap spot next to it, because you could just roll right in there uh, with a wheelchair, or whatever it may be. Anyway. Once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the exterior for your Refresh Series LEGO Store Complete. Let me know which one you guys like best. There's the other one, and there's another one there, but it's just a giant Lego brick, which I like the idea, but I don't know. It it didn't look great. Even the one to the side of this one didn't look great either. This one's definitely the best. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.